What is going on guys and welcome to brackets 1.9 if you're using brackets you probably received a notice that you can update to brackets 1.9 and in this video we're gonna actually check it out what are the new features that are offering us so already here I already downloaded the brackets 1.9 and the first thing that we're gonna look at is reverse inspect in live preview and what it means so let's say over here that I have let's say like uh, four h1 right elements and here i have a couple of h3s right so if i go back over here to the live preview and if i click it over here you can see that it right away shows which element i'm actually working in and i can do that from the live preview now with this kind of small document it's obviously a piece of cake but imagine let's say that we're going to just copy this like i don't know 20 something times or something like that and if i scroll all the way to the bottom let's say and just click it over here you can see right away uh, points me to the element that I'm actually working with from the live view so you can see that it's a pretty neat feature the next thing we'll go and look at is support for replace all action in find and replace and what it means is that now when we are actually uh, using the find or here and we're using replace you can see over here we have this option of replace all and let's say over here that I have selected h1 right or h3 right the usual case would be where I would just say that let's say I want to uh, replace it with h2 and then I would just start clicking right h2 h2 over here and it keeps going however I can just go over here click replace all and you can see that all of them changed from h3 to h2 so it's a pretty neat feature right now the next thing that I updated is if we go to extensions manager you can see that in our available extensions we have an option of actually listing them either when they were last updated or the, the download account so if i click over here last updated you can see that i have let's say over here color tag name right brackets glcl or something like that right so pretty much that tells me that they are taking care of their extensions however if we go to downloads we can just see the most popular one right so if you're debating back and forth which would be the best uh, brackets extension to have you can definitely just use it by downloads and it's right away going to sort it for you now after that they also added featured that is actually a document toggle in a split view and let me show you what it means so let's over here that i have a split view like i'm going to make a vertical split and over here i'm just going to drag the start html right so you can see that i have both of them However, I don't need to use the mouse to actually toggle, toggle in between them. If I just press Alt and W, you can see that I'm going to be switching back and forth. So just remember that it's Alt W. That's going to be the keyboard shortcut that we can actually use to toggle in between the views. Now, what they also did is if you have a new file and let's say that it's going to be untitled, what you can still do is actually select the language mode by toggling and also code code coloring and code hints we can also use for untitled uh, documents which we couldn't actually do it before and last but not least Git, github organizations can now own the brackets extensions um, this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video <laughs> Mm-hmm.